Hi guys! Um, I have another mini art haul, a little bitty one. This should only take a few minutes. Um, short story, my Aunt Linda's Christmas gift cards came in the mail a few days ago. And um, uh, yes, this is the aunt that passed. Her son sent out all of her Christmas cards late, so we all got them, you know, after the holidays and well into to January. It was a bit of a shock to see her address on an envelope, but um, she gave me uh, gift cards from Michael's Craft Store. Now, Michael's Craft Store is, if you don't know, um, a large craft store here in the States that uh, has some art supplies, and I picked up myself um, some some stuff. I know I said in a previous a video that it was a no spend year and it is. Um, I'm not going to spend money on unessentials, non-essentials, non-essentials, on um, yeah, things that aren't essential. <laughs> wow. Um, uh, that is my goal for the year to um, save some money and use the tools I already have. So this is my very last purchase of art supplies for the year. Um, I got a couple of notebooks. Everything was on sale, which was fantastic. Um, and I found this one fun thing that I thought was... I was like, oh, I can't not do it. No, no. <laughs> I just couldn't not... I was like, oh my god, Bob Ross, look at him. Look at Bob. It's just great. And it, it's like an Altoid size tin. And it has mints in it, which I'm going to take out. But for real, you guys, this is going to become a little palette of colors. And these are going to get, I don't know, probably tossed. Because I don't really like those kinds of mints. But I thought the box was fantastic. So there's that. We'll set Bob right here. We'll put him on the corner there. Um, and then I got two of these cute notebooks for my note taking for the year idea one's going to be ideas and uh, uh, business plan stuff thoughts and the other one is going to be for um actually I'm not sure what the other one's going to be for I had an idea in the store I know I needed two but I love this cute little llama look at her isn't she adorable Da, da, da. She's just riding her bike, enjoying her life, having the best day ever. Um, yeah, 240 pages of just really nice lined paper. It's pretty, pretty nice, you know, normal paperweight, and I like the colors on the insides too. It's very feminine. It's very me, and I just thought it was super pretty. And then I got this one, which says. Be the windshield, not the bug. And I laughed out loud, so I had to have it. It's the one. And it's got great bugs on it, and I love to draw bugs. I just thought this pattern was fantastic. I love I love the colors, um, both sides. I'm going to take the stickers off. I'm going to use my heat tool to take these stickers off. Um, but once again, cute inside cover, regular lined paper, 240 pages. Um, so there's that one. And then I got the Legion or Stonehenge Aqua Cold Press Black Paper. Um, it's 100% cotton, right? It's time to rethink everything. Instead of building up shadows, you build up light. Welcome to the exciting new world where watercolors, acrylics, or pencils transform negative space into positive. Day is night, black is white. This is Stonehenge Aqua Cold Press Black. So I've been thinking about getting this particular pad for a while, and it was um, the the pads of paper. These were buy one get one half off. These were buy one get one half off. Um, I'm gonna pull the plastic off. Now the other ones didn't have uh, paper or what do you call it plastic on them, but. Uh, this is 15 sheets, 100% cotton, acid-free, black paper. I mean, it's so dark. I love it. It's got a slight texture like the cold press does. 
I'm so excited to use all the mediums on it. I have iridescent paints. I have all kinds of all kinds of plans for this this paper. I had all kinds of paper to, to play with this year. And then this was a pad of Canson Mixed Media Rough Paper. And just the volume, like the count, there's 60 sheets in here. Most of the sketchbooks that I looked at had, you know, 30, 40 sheets. 60 was nice, and it's a nice weight. 114 pounds of 7x10 paper. Um, it has tear-out sheets, which I like. So if you do create something that, that you want to frame or sell or, you know, um, you can. Um, just use your little perforated line. Oh, Bob. Come on, focus. But you can do it. There. A little perforated line right there. Yeah, so, um, nothing fancy about it. Nothing crazy amazing. It's just 60 sheets of mixed media rough paper by Canson. I like Canson. They're a decent, decent brand. They've been, you know, um, I don't use their watercolor paper though. Just because I'm too picky about watercolor paper. And this is the main thing that I wanted to get. This is the one thing I did not get for Christmas this year. Was not the Daily Rowney, like, not this brand in particular, but the water mixable oil paints. I wanted a set of water mixable oil paints um, because I got oil paints in an art box last year. One of my palette full packs boxes had oil paints in it, the water mixable ones. Um, the Cobra brand, and they're amazing. I love oil paints. They're fun. I was, I've been scared of them since the beginning of time because solvents and smells and it's so much work and um, I didn't know how they'd be on, on the surface. So I picked up this um, and it comes with mixable colors. So I figure I can use these colors with my... Um, the colors I already have because I have a big tube of titanium white already. Does it list? I had a short list on there, but it doesn't. Um, but we have lemon yellow, cad yellow, so so cool and warm yellow, cool and warm red, cool and warm blue, and then some um, earth tones that are uh, what do you call them? Uh, con convenience mixes. So we have lemon yellow, cad yellow, cadmium red hue. These are both hues, which is fine. Crimson alizarin hue, cerulean hue, French ultramarine, viridian hue, yellow ochre, and burnt umber. And these will round out my, <coughs> excuse me, my watercolor collection of paints that I have currently. So I'm super excited to do a formal unboxing and swatching and playing. I actually, I, from, can we, can we please? Thank you. Because I have to find, excuse me, something to put these tubes in. I need to clean out the space. But I got out my um, Masterson's uh, Stay Wet Handy Palette that I got in my jazz box and I set it all up. Oh, I followed the instructions and I set it up. It's ready to put paint in. We have our wet palette so things stay moist. I have palettes already that I have been storing and yeah I'm excited to get to get to these. But yeah that's a nice little haul right? I got two new pads of paper, oil paints which was um on sale for $40, which is a steal and a half, because I've been looking and looking and looking for the bigger tubes, um, instead of like the traditional small tubes, the bigger tubes uh, of oil paints for a while. I'm putting them in my cart and taking them out, but couldn't justify the expense, so thank you to my Aunt Linda for allowing me to spoil myself a little bit. And a couple of notepads and to top it all off, little Bob Ross action. Why? Because he can. Just he, he makes everything great, doesn't he? <laughs> Alright, well that's my, my mini art haul video. It's not too long, not too short. I just thought I'd 
do a quick one, share what I bought for my last little bit of art supplies that I'm buying myself this year. Um, gonna do a little art studio tour video as well because I haven't done one since I changed the space around and rearranged so that I can work in a, in a better way. Um, and I will show you guys the living room sketch session video area that I have set up and then the kitchen is going to become my gouache painting station. Um, yeah, so I'm excited to show you guys all that stuff in a future video and yeah. I'm going to stop talking now. I have other videos to do tonight, and I will see you in the next one. If you liked it, don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe and all that business. Bye!